Are you looking for a tool that can restore faces using AI technology? I got a really awesome tool. It's one of my favorite tools to actually make the quality better of images. And this tool can also restore faces using AI technology. So if you got some old photos or maybe just bad photos and you want to make them better, this tool can do it all using AI. I'm going to show you how it works. Just watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you some examples and then you can see how great this works to restore faces using AI. Let's dive into it. The tool that I'm going to use is called AI RT Image Enhancer and this tool is really easy to use. This is the starting screen and all we have to do is import our photo first. Now let's use this photo first. You can see the quality isn't great. So we're going to make the quality better of this photo and just drag it inside the screen. Then it's going to load this up as you can see here and it's going to load the AI models which we can use to make the quality of the image better. And let's zoom in here and you can already see the difference. Before we had this, let's zoom in here and after we have this and look at all those details. On the right side you can change the settings of the photo so in AI model you can select from different models. So the best way to try this out is to just go through these models. You can also read what it's used for and then just pick one of these models and look at the results and then decide which one is best for me. And look at that before, after, look at all those details. I think this already looks great. We can also upscale this photo. We can go all the way to 8K and look at that. When I create an 8K image of this, it's going to be super big and the quality is going to be amazing. So let it load up again. You can see it's going to process this image again because it needs to upscale this photo and look at the quality before all that blur after look at all those details. Now on the right side, we can also do two pass processing. It's actually enabled now. That means it's processed this image two times, which makes the quality even better. Down here, we have the export settings. We can select from PNG and JPEG. We can also select the DPI and the level. We're going to keep it at maximum to get the best possible quality. And then just single export this and you have a great photo. And look how fast I did this. Now let's do another photo so you can really see how this works on different photos. Now this is another photo. The quality isn't great as you can see here on the left side. And now it's loading up the AI models again so it can process this photo. And look at that before, after. Look at all those details. Let me zoom out here so you can see this better. This photo looks great before, after. There's also an option face restoration here. You can also try that one to see if that works better on your photos. So if you got a face and you want to restore it, try the face restoration. It might get better results for your photos. So let's try it out and see the results. Let me zoom in here. Look at that. You can see I disabled two pass processing here and I have face restoration enabled and this looks great. I think we don't have to do anything to this photo. The quality is amazing here. The resolution is 8K now and this was a photo of 1000 pixels. So that's eight times more pixels. So that's how easy it actually works. You can try it out yourself to see if this works on your photos. I would say give it a try and see if the results are just amazing as mine's. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it and catch you on the next one.